this trend is here to stay. Sustainability, driven by governments, NGOs, society and us as companies. As this is leading to many regulations when it comes to packaging, today we are talking about four ways that impact converters and brand owners and how they can future-proof their thermoform products. In many countries, there are new laws, targets or regulations for plastic packaging. For example, a ban on single-use fruit packaging in France, the obligation to offer reusable cups and food containers in Germany, or the reduction of single-use plastic cups and food packaging of 40% by 2026 in the Netherlands. So many of our customers asking themselves, how can we future-proof our packaging? The good news is, there are several strategies and opportunities. Right, Ward and Marius? Correct, Jana. Currently, we can observe four options on the market that seem to exist next to each other. The good news is there are multiple solutions for thermoform products in all directions. So it's up to the customer strategy. Marius, could you explain the four solution directions? Yes, of course. The first option is to keep your polymer-based single-use product, but make it 100% recyclable. Here you see a good example of a recycled product. It is a CPET light cup. This is developed by Kifol together with value chain partners Sukano and SML and can be produced on our speed former KTR. The cup is made out of recycled material and can be recycled again. So we are closing the loop. This product is also approved for direct food contact. The second option is to switch to single-use products made from alternative materials which are also recyclable or even compostable as with this ball, made from natural fibers. Various materials can be used, such as cellulose, weed straw, animal plants and more. In this case, it is produced on our machine, the Nature Former KFT, which can handle both deep and complex geometries. All products like this paper lid, which are directly thermoformed from the roll. This is a KMD-like process with low investment costs, suitable for products with less depth. A third option can be turning single-use plastic products into reusable products, which means they can be used several times. Exactly. For example, this lid, which is dishwasher-proof and can be reused. Or other thermoformed thick-wall cups, like this one here, which can be made with your current equipment and still holds advantages over injection molded products. And last but not least, of course, you can make reusable products from alternative materials such as fiber as well. Like this fiber packaging to keep technical products safe or as an inlay for pencils or medicine. The list goes on. So we have a huge variety of different applications and therefore several opportunities. And how did companies react so far to the upcoming packaging regulations? Well, some companies tried to realize innovations towards a circular economy with the help of initiatives like Prinsic, Nextloop or Holy Grail. Others tried to replace plastics with fiber, as you can see in the coffee business. For example, in terms of coffee capsules or other innovative ways of storing coffee in fiber trays. Or you might have seen the lately launched deposit system for reusable plastic cups at McDonald's and Starbucks. So we see a strong movement towards sustainable and creative solutions. And how long will it take for innovations in reuse and recycling to become established? The awareness is growing more and more that actions must follow sooner rather than later. So it's better to be prepared 
and to act now and reduce risks to no longer meet future regulations. We expect developments will soon increase speed, maybe booming, within the next three to five years. And what opportunities do the latest developments hold for the thermoforming industry? New challenges require new technology and sometimes even an entire new business plan. But that's a challenge that we all face in the business. There might be complete switches in the business sector, like going from the food sector to cosmetics because of different requirements and regulations, or changing of materials and technology from plastics to fiber. All those things are a huge rethinking process within the packaging industry. Back to you, Jana. Thank you both for the insights. As we have seen, there's great potential to make your packaging future-proof and sustainable. So just contact us to realize your optimal solution with machines, tools or automation. If you like this tech talk, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.